Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Finds TV. I hope you all enjoyed your four-day weekend. I'm Melanie Reese. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, January 17th, 2022. Now let's take a look at today's SEL lesson. Out. What were you doing out there? You suck. I'm sorry I'm not as good as you, James. Here, Jasmine was being a sore loser, and instead of communicating positively to her teammates, she yelled at them. Let's try this again. So you got this, Anasa? Okay, I'll try. You got it next time. Come on! Let's go! You're doing good! Time out! But also you did great out there, but remember, when someone's like pointing the ball at you, try to duck or catch it. All right, I'll, I'll try next time. Here, instead of Jasmine yelling at her teammates, she encouraged them to do better. Remember to always be a good sport and not a sore loser. See you next time in the next SEO. What a great lesson. Now let's learn a new word with word of the day. Jasmine, my teacher was talking about how we should be affiliated with people doing good things. Oh, what does being affiliated mean? Affiliation means being closely related to somebody. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to use that great advice. The people that you keep around are important. Yep, definitely. See, see you tomorrow on Wear the Day. Now let's see what happened today in history with Destiny. Thank you, Melanie. Hi, Patriots. Today in history on January 17, 1931, the famous actor James Earl Jones, who is most notable for his deep voice, was born in Mississippi. James Earl Jones is well known for acting in a variety of movies, such as The Lion King, A King's Time as Ruler, Rises and Falls Like the Sun, Return of the Jedi as the voice of Darth Vader, No, I am the Father, and many more. He is also known as one of the greatest actors in American history, and one of the most versatile and distinguished actors. He sure has a legacy that will never be forgotten. Now let's go see what's cooking with Alexander. Thank you, Destiny. Today's lunch is burrito bean and cheese, two cheese sandwich, corn, broccoli, pineapple tidbit, and your cheese of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is strawberry banana yogurt, cinnamon graham cracker, cocoa puffs, fresh fruit, 100% apple juice, and your cheese of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch can change at any time and always remember to bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, and let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Alexander. Scholars, this quarter sectional software challenge is still going on. K through second, you will need 25 past lessons on iReady Math and 20 minutes weekly on Lexia. And third through eighth, you will need 25 lessons on iReady Reading and 25 past lessons on Imagine Math. It started last week, so you still have plenty of time. Winter testing is still going on, Patriots. Tomorrow, our seventh through eighth graders will be taking their math fast. Take a look at your schedule to see when it's your time to test. Good luck to all 7th through 8th graders. Patriots, our cell phone policies are still in place. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you're not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Sports fans, our boys basketball team and girls soccer team have a game tomorrow away at Hillel NMB. The boys basketball junior varsity game will be at 4.30 p.m. along with the girls soccer game. And the boys basketball varsity team Game will be at 5.30 p.m. Good luck, boys and girls, and let's go Patriots! Students, the Patriots store is open every morning. Make sure to take a look at your schedule to see when's your time to shop and bring your tickets. 
Now let's see what the weather's looking like today with Aiden. Thank you, Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. Today's weather, you can expect a warm 79 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. In other weather news, recently, 97 dying due to starvation because of the loss of seagrass. Not only this, but polluted waters play a huge part too. However, a new plan to feed them by hand was suggested and approved. This year alone, 300 manatees have been hand fed. This is just the start, but we're making amazing progress. Now let's go to Zarmel for the birthdays. Thank you, Aiden. Today, birthday boys and girls are Isaiah Garcia, Kalesi Hintes, Nevi Gatra, and Justin Roberts. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Melanie. Thanks, Armel. Patriots, here are your pack's expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Manon, Ms. Balanjano, Ms. Ayandinkwa, Ms. Stone, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Carey, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Sands, and Ms. Merkel. You all had the correct answer to Thursday's daily challenge, which was, who invented the telephone? The correct answer was Alexander Graham Bell. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What could go up a chimney down, but can't go down a chimney up? Teachers, please send your answer to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a terrific Tuesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!